All right. Hello and welcome to the Electrician's Hangout. Today we're going to uh, do some three-way switches. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a really quick screencast. Well, actually it's not going to be really quick. It's going to be very in-depth and so forth and so on. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys the screencast and then we're going to jump back to the uh, actual board here and pretty much just watch everything work. So let's jump into that screencast. Okay, what we've done here is uh, we've made a schematic diagram of the uh, three-way switch loop that we're going to work on. And uh, there are several ways to wire uh, your three-way switches. I chose this way because I found it to be one of the most common uh, setups that you, you run across out there in the field. So I figured this would be a good place to start. In the uh, future I will create some more tutorials showing some of the different ways to uh, wire up your three-way switches. So we'll start with this really fundamental and basic way of wiring your three-way switches. Uh, first we'll take a look at the switch the three-way switch and you'll notice it has three screws on it you have to excuse my hideous drawing here I'm, I'm a terrible artist but uh, we have one screw this this black in color and that particular screw is uh, called your point screw and your point wire goes on your point screw uh, with a three-way switch loop the point wire will either have 110 volt source connected to it or it's going to have a wire that's going directly to your light which is going to be a, your conductor or your wire that's getting actually getting switched or turned on and off the other two screws are going to be like a bronze color it's going to be lighter than the, the point screw and the two wires that goes on these particular screws are called your travelers and let's let's not get tripped up with colors because just because I use these colors doesn't mean that somebody else is going to use these colors but if you see the conductors on the, the light colored screws on the switch then you know that that's the colors that they're using for their travelers and it doesn't necessarily have to be the colors that you see here nor does it have to be wired this way like I said before there several ways to wire a three-way switch loop we're just going to start out with this way because uh, like I say I found it to be the most common setup so now that we got a little bit of that out of the way let's take a look at what's going on here uh, these are two boxes with switches in it this uh, in two different locations the purpose of a three-way switch is to allow you to, t to turn your light on and off from two different locations okay and the way we're going to wire these guys up with this particular method is we're going to have uh, two cables in each box we're going to have a two conductor cable and a three conductor cable in each box the three conductor cable is simply going to run between the two boxes so from one box to the next box we're going to run a piece of three conductor Romex the three conductor Romex has a, a red wire a black wire and a white wire and sorry about the yellow there I couldn't find a way to uh, get a white wire on here or find a way to represent the white wire with a white color so I use yellow so the yellow is actually the white conductor or your neutral conductor all right so back back to what we were talking about there so each box is going to have two two cables in it like i said a three conductor and a two conductor the three conductor is simply like i said running between the two boxes from one box to the next and that's what's going on with the three conductor there and one of the boxes we're going to have a two conductor cable coming in that's going to be a power source coming from where it could be coming from a, a outlet it could be coming from the circuit breaker panel wherever it's coming from it's going to always be energized with 110 volts that's why we call it the source or the, the feed 
or your home run. There's a lot of different uh, uh, terminologies that you're going to hear out there, different things that people call it, but we're going to call it the source or your 110 volt source. <clears throat> In the second box, we're going to have the other, you know, the other end of the three conductor, but we're also going to have another two conductor that goes comes out of that box and goes up to the light that we're going to be powering up. And only thing we're going to do here is in the first box with the two conductor, the black wire, which is our source, our 110 volts, it's going to go to the point wire or the point screw. I'm sorry, or the black colored screw on the switch. The white wire that comes in from the source is going to get connected or spliced to the white wire that's inside the three conductor inside that box. And the black and the red from the three conductor is going to go on those traveler screws there. That's what your black and your red is. That's your travelers. <clears throat> so we're going to move on to the second switch. And that three conductor that comes from the first switch, the white is going to splice to the white wire that's in the two conductor that's going up to the light. The black wire from the two conductor that's going up to the light is going to go on to the point screw or that dark colored screw. And of course, the black and the red are going to go across the two bronze colored screws, your travelers. And that's going to complete pretty much uh, our three way switch loop. This is a very common uh, method for wiring up three way switches. and you'll run across it a lot but as I said before and sorry for being so redundant there but uh, there's several different ways of, of wiring up three-way switches this is but one way and it's a very common way because it's very simple and very easy to understand and what I did at the bottom here is I created a second little drawing as you can see my drawings are very hideous very very bad but hopefully is good enough to get the point across. In this drawing, basically um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to give you an idea of what's happening internally with the switch as you move it from or turn the switch from one position to the next. It, with a three-way switch, you'll notice there is no on and off on the switch <clears throat> like with the single pole switch. And the reason is uh, up could be on or off. It just it's a matter of what position the the uh, other three-way switch is in so there is no on and off on the switch per se because on is relevant to the position of the second switch so let's take a look at what's actually happening we have our black and our white coming in down here which is the same as up here that's your source the white splices through and goes straight to the light it's just a, a straight path right to the light and I guess here you can see it just like the way you can see it there. This is a straight path up to your light. Uh, your black wire, which is carrying 110 volts, what's happening here right now? This light is on because your 110 volts is coming through the black and travel going through the switch this way, across the black wire, and across this switch this way, and up into the light. If we go to either either three-way switch and change the position let's say this one here what we're doing this this here is actually a pivot point so that when you flip this switch this point stays the same but this point changes it moves it moves from the black wire to the red wire so if we flip this switch we have a connection sorry about that a connection straight across down here which will cause the light to turn off because our circuit will be open it, the, the electricity will be coming through here through the black wire and it would stop because we changed the position here however if we went to the opposite switch and changed its, its position it this is the pivot point again it would be going straight across here and now the light will come on because we have a straight path straight across up into the light so that's pretty much how the and you can pretty much do that all day go one person could be standing at one switch and one person can stand at the other one person can turn it on the other person can turn it off he could turn it on he could turn it off so forth so on that's how it works so hopefully that gives you a good picture of um, how the three-way switches operate and 
gives you a better idea or a little bit more control when you're wiring it to understand what you're actually doing there. So let's let's get back to the actual uh, test board so we can wire this guy up and see him work. All right, now that we've checked out the screencast, we'll go over what we uh, went through uh, with the screencast there. And I was showing you guys on the screencast about the three-way switch and the different colors that it has. If you look at the two bottom screws here, they're both a bronze color. That screw's a bronze color. This one's a bronze color. And the uh, one on the top here is a black color. So the point, the point wire is on the, the black and the two travelers, the black and the red, on the two bronze color screws. And as I told you guys before, this three conductor cable here, if you look inside the box, what you'll see is one cable comes out and goes to the light, the other is a three conductor which has the, the, uh, the black, the red, and the white in it. It just goes and loops over to the second box. And in this box, this is the three conductor here, the white, the black, and the red. The two conductor, the black, and the white. And this box is your source. It simply comes out of this box and it goes up and over to the panel over there and connects to the breaker. So that's pretty much it. And as you can see, the whites are just splicing through. So what we have is uh, a three conductor that loops between the two boxes. We have one wire coming out of one box to go up to the light and one two conductor wire that comes out the opposite box and goes back to our source, our 110 volts, which in this case is our circuit breaker panel. And uh, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn everything on. And uh, when you wire up a new circuit and you turn your circuit breaker panel on or your circuit on, your breaker, never ever stand in front of it. Always stand to the side and turn your face then turn it on like so that way if you did anything wrong and the breaker is bad at the same time and it decides it wants to do something funky like blow up it's not going to happen in your face so always remember that stand off to the side and turn your face away when you turn on a breaker and furthermore it really doesn't matter if you go down to your basement or, or Wherever your panel might be and you have a circuit breaker that's tripped, you want to turn it back on, don't stand in front of it. Stand to the side, turn your head, and turn it on. That's the safe way to do it. Alright, so now we've turned our source on, our breaker, which is powering up our three-way switch loop here. As I said, the, the two conductor here, which is our source, comes and goes straight is this wire here comes straight to this box here we have a three conductor cable that's looping between the two and then one more two conductor that comes out of this one and then to the light so we turn our light on in position one it comes on go to position two off on off on off it really doesn't matter what position you're in so if someone's upstairs they want to come downstairs they turn the light on when they get to the bottom they turn it off and when they go to go back upstairs, they turn the light on, go to, up the steps. When they get to the top, turn it off. That's pretty much the, the, the reason you have a three-way switch to turn it on from two different locations. And notice I'm going really fast because I got really long-winded with the screencast and I'm pretty much running out of time. So that's it. That's your three-way switch loop. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, feel free to just drop me a comment and... I'll do my best to answer your question and help you get the answer that you're looking for. So thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.